Hi learners, welcome to my YouTube channel. So today we are going to do the part 4 of the same topic. So we have already done few questions before. You can have a look at the part 3. So now we will go for the question number 5. Find the sum of areas of the floor and ceiling of a room with dimensions are given here 144 xy and one, uh, 1 by 4 x cube y square. So here we have to find the sum of the areas of flow. Now so this is the suppose we take we take as a cuboid. So this is the flow and this is the ceiling of it. So what happens here? It's given here the areas of floor and ceiling of the dimensions means this whatever this is given this is the length 144 x square we can consider and the breadth is 1 by 4 x cube y square so the area of floor means because this is a rectangle so that is the formula is length into breadth so what we will take here length is 144 x square multiplied by 1 by 4 x cube y square so we can simplify this one this will be 36 36 for the 144 so what we'll write here 36 into 1 that will be 36 and here we will add it you know the rule a raised to m into a raised to n that will be a raised to m plus n so what we can do here this x and this x this is 1 1 plus 3 that is going to be x raised to 4 again for y this is 1 and this is 2 the exponent is 2 so 1 plus 2 that is going to be 3 so always the area means that is going to be square units so now we will take here again for this one we can consider as the area of ceiling so you know as i showed you now in the diagram that the area of this is the floor and this is the ceiling so whatever the this measurement is there the same thing will be in the or this will be on the ceiling so we can say area of ceiling that is the same as this area of floor that is 36 x4 y cube so they have asked for the sum of both of them the area of floor and the ceiling so we are going to add this plus this one so what will you write is sum of areas of floor plus ceiling that is 36 x4 y cube plus 36 x4 y cube so whenever you have the variable here means you are going to just write it one x4 y cube but you are going to add the exponents 36 plus 36 that is going to be 72 x4 y cube so this is the answer now here they said find the value of 16 m cube n square into minus 3 mn for m is equal to minus 2 and n is equal to minus 1 so you are going to multiply this and this one so what will you get here first let us see the coefficients that is going to be 16 3 is a 48 and there is a minus sign over here and now we will see the variables now this and this one so here is one so we are going to add this 3 plus 1 because you know again i will repeat it that is going to be a raised to m plus n so it is because this is multiplication so 3 plus 1 that is going to be 4 and here this is going to be 2 plus 1 this is going to be 3 now when you have m is equal to minus 2 and m is equal to minus 1 so what will you do you will take this one so here you will write minus 48 and m you are going to write here minus 2 raised to 4 into this one we are going to write here minus 1 raised to 3. So what will be here minus 48 and 2 raised to 4 means see whenever you have an even number in the exponent that means whenever you have a negative sign that is always going to be positive either it will be 2, 4, 6, 8 and so on. Wherever you have the exponent is even number it is going to be always positive. And now this is an odd number. So this is going to be minus 1. Hope you got this one. And now your minus and minus becomes plus because it is multiplication. You are just going to multiply this. You get 768 which is the positive one because minus and minus is plus. Now find the product of minus 2 by 3 x square y, y z. Then 2.7 x y square x y z. And then evaluate it for x is equal to minus 1 y is equal to 2 and z is equal to 3 so because the product means you are going to multiply all these ones so see here 
there's a multiplication sign or you can also put a bracket as per your convenience here yeah so now what are you going to do you are going to simplify so three ones are three zero point nine means nine is a 27 so this is 2.7 so you will write a 0 0.9 so now when you multiply this into this 0 0.9 into 2 that is going to be 1.8 and this is the negative sign so you will write a negative sign now let us see the variables now this we have x over here and all is multiplication means you are going to this will be one one so two plus three one will be three and this will be four so x is to four now let us look for y this will be one over here and again here also will be one so one plus two plus one that is going to be again four now let, let us look for z one and this one is going to be two so this is x is to two now we are going to in this one we are going to put x is equal to minus one y is equal to two and z is equal to three so this is going to be the same here because this is x minus 1 raised to 4 here is going to be 2 raised to 4 and this is going to be 3 raised to 2 so this will be the same this is even number so this is going to be 1 now 2 raised to 4 that is going to be 16 so this 16 is here and 3 raised to 2 that is going to be 9 so what you are going to do you are going to multiply all this one so you will get 259.2 but then you are going to write this negative so this is the answer now here simplify the following so this is given so now what you can do here this 5 and this 5 gets cut so that will be 1 this 2 and this 2 gets cut you can also write your 1 and now what remains is minus and minus becomes plus so now remains is 1 by 4 that is positive now you will see a's and this one this will be 1 2 plus 3 plus 1 2 plus 3 plus 1 now let us see for b and this one so what will you do here this will be 1 so you will write here 3 plus 2 plus here 1 plus 1 3 plus 2 plus 1 plus 1 then you will see for c so what will be here? 1 plus 4. So here what will you write here? 1 by 4. A raised to. This is going to be 6. B raised to. So this is going to be 7. And this is C raised to. This is going to be 5. So this is the answer. Now here this x from the product of this 2. We have to subtract the product of this and this one. So now let us see the product of this from here this part so product of here we are going to look for this and this one so now what are you going to do you are going to put a multiplication sign over here and now let us simplify this one so three ones are three nines are so what will be here three ones are again here three threes are so now what you get to coefficient is nothing is left we have just one by three now let us see for l so what will be here two plus one that is going to be three now for m 2 plus 3 that is going to be 5 because this is multiplication you are going to add it now here 3 plus 4 that is going to be 7 so product of this is this is the answer for product of this and this one now let us see the product of first this and this one so product of this number and this number so what will you do here 5 ones are 5 twos are so now we cannot simplify further so what will you do here 4 by 3 so you will write a 4 by 3. Now since you have L, M, N. So here also let us go with the same sequence. So what you can see here 1 and plus 2. That is going to be L3. Then you will do your M and here 2 plus 3. That is going to be 5. And then again you will see for N. This and this one. So 6 plus 1. That is going to be 7. So L3, M5 and N7. The same thing. And the coefficient, this is the coefficient that is different. So now what it is saying, product of this and one, you have to subtract. Subtract the product of this one. So what will you do? You will write here, product of this one is here. And you have to subtract this one from this. You have to subtract this. 
So now what you can see, this is one term, this is the other term. From this we can take, because both are the same, we can take common over here. So now what remains? 1 by 3 minus 4 by 3. So now the denominator is the same. So what will be that? 1 minus 4. So you know minus 4 plus 1, that is going to be minus 3. So here will be minus 3. And this is going to write, you are going to write it 20 once because that is the LCM, that is 3. And this is L cube and 5 and 7. So now this is going to be 1. So that is going to be minus 1. So usually we don't write 1. So we can write it just minus and this one. So this is the answer. So by this one we have completed today's work. Do like and subscribe to my channel so you get a notification of the other parts. Thank you.